Hi, this is Rick with Good Time Camping. Today we have our three-year review of our 2016 Jayco J-Flight 26BH travel trailer. We're going to take a look and see how she fared after a few thousand miles and many nights of camping. We'll also try to answer the questions, do we still love it and would we buy it again? So stick with us and we'll see what she looks like. All right, let's start on the front of the camper. First off, you can see where the propane cover is uh, starting to fade a bit, but here in the hot Florida sun, it's kind of to be expected. Now down here, I did install a battery cutoff switch and it lasted about two and a half years. I have a new one, I just haven't got around to putting it on yet. And then here's a nice little gadget. It uh, holds your light cord up off the ground so it doesn't get dirt in it and the water doesn't get in it. It uh, took about five minutes to install. It wasn't very expensive and a uh, nice addition. Here I had put some uh, levels on the camper to make it easier to level. Now if you look down the side here at all the fittings, um, they still look like new. We've had not had any trouble with any of them. Uh, we did put some screens on the inside of our uh, refrigerator vents there. We were getting some problems with some frogs getting in there. Uh, but other than that, uh, the outside looks good. Uh, we do wash and wax it just about every trip that we uh, take. And the roof, we get up there three or four times a year and clean that and put a UV protector on it. All right, now here we are at the bedroom. Uh, we really have no complaints. The mattress is comfortable. Uh, the windows are a little low. We wish they would have been higher. You have to kind of bend over to see out of them. Uh, right here, you see the uh, little wall in the back of the under bed storage that we put in. There had been some talk on some of the owner's forums that... Uh, the bed would sag in the middle, so being the full figure guy that I am, I went ahead and put that wall in there. The bed sits on top of it, and we've never had a problem. So uh, we have nothing bad to say about the uh, bedroom. Okay, now let's look at the living area. The uh, couch is quite comfortable. Uh, we use it all the time as a bed, and uh, we've had no problems with that. Uh, the placement of the TV in the living area is excellent. You can have, uh, you can see it from one side of the dinette set. You got the couch that you can see it from, and you can also sit on the bed or even lay on the bed in the uh, bedroom and still see the TV. So uh, we have no problems with the living area at all. Now the kitchen area, um, the only modifications I've made in the kitchen area is to put some shelves in the cabinets. The uh, cabinets are quite tall, so I added shelves to three of the cabinets and I left two open uh, just for taller items. Now you don't have a lot of counter space in this travel trailer, so I did add a uh, countertop over top of the stove that you can it's a butcher block that you can put on there and take off when you need to but uh, as for that that's all the modifications we've done now this leads us to the one problem and that's in the dinette now from the owners forums I found out that people sometimes were having problems that if you put too much pressure on the back of the dinette set that the back would come loose and well even though we were careful it did so my solution to this problem is that I put some carriage bolts I think it was three I put through the back of the seat all the way through the frame underneath the seat cushion there I uh, put three carriage bolts and a couple little brackets down there and the seat's not going anywhere now. I believe the travel trailer will fall apart and the seat will still be sitting there. It is that strong now. The only problem that we've had with the bathroom 
is a leaking faucet on the sink and I decided to just put a better quality uh, faucet on there instead of repairing the cheap one that was on there and I'll probably do the same to the uh, kitchen sink if that faucet ever fails but other than that the uh, bathroom looks just like brand new and it works flawlessly I hear that the bunk beds are comfortable my, my kids tell me they're comfortable I've never actually slept in one uh, the only problem that we've had is they do get a little warm in there if you close the privacy cur curtain there's not a whole lot of airflow so to combat this we put a little electric fan in each bunk and uh, it's helped quite a bit now you might want to be aware that if you have small kids there is no ladder there so they might have a little bit of a problem with getting into the bunks now for everything else on the uh, travel trailer it's been working great the uh, all the appliances work great the water heater works well the heater works great the air conditioner is fine uh, we haven't had any problems so far with any of that so uh, well there you have it so to answer the question would we buy this camper again absolutely we love it we've only had a few small problems the uh, build quality has been good um, really no major issues so yes we we would buy another one well there you have it that's our three-year review of our 2016 Jayco J flight 26 BH travel trailer please like share comment and subscribe if you haven't already and remember until next time, get out there and have a good time camping.